Frontside Rodeo 5. That's what it looks like. When it comes to learning a Frontside Rodeo 5, it's very similar to the Frontside Corked 5. The main difference is a Frontside Corked 5 is Frontside Spin and Up, whereas a Frontside Rodeo 5 is Frontside Spin and Down. So do they want one more of the Frontside Rodeo 5? Boom. When it comes to learning this motion, you don't learn it with a board on. Learn it on your feet, take a tramp course, learn all of these cork spins and flips, no board first. When you want to get on the board, the easiest way to do it is you break it down into two movements, where you do half this trick, landing on your back, and then bringing it back around to your feet. So right there, when he simulates this trick, and if you can do it one more time, you're basically doing the same angle of takeoff, front side rodeo axis, bringing it back around to your feet. Now we can do the real trick. Front side rodeo five. Now, when this is done on a snowboard, it's taking off on the toe edge. And on a tramp here, you'll see that if you watch closely, Dean's actually kind of initiating on his toe edge right here into the front side rodeo five. And that almost makes him drift across the tramp a little bit. That's very realistic to how it actually happens on a snowboard. The other thing is, Grabbing Indie Grab is probably one of the most common grabs that I see on this trick in real snowboarding. So here you go. Frontside Rodeo 5 with an Indie Grab. Boom. Obviously you can do whatever grab you want to do at this point and it all depends on what you like best and what feels good for you. That's just something that works well for most people. This is Nev Lapwood with Dean Berkovich, Snowboard Addiction. Our goal is to improve your riding.